There comes a point in time with events like these, major hurricanes, that after you've done all that you know to do to prepare, you have to stop, be at peace, let go, and let God. Regardless of whether it's nature, global warming, hand of man, harp, this is still my father's world. Nothing happens outside of his sight. And this one is going to be a major test for a lot of people because they're calling it perhaps now the strongest storm to have ever hit anywhere in recorded history. Now, I know there's a lot of numbers out there. Well, wait, hold on. They're saying second and third. It's got days left to strengthen. It's only the end of Monday. They're not saying this is going to be near Florida until Wednesday night. It has two days out over that water to get bigger and stronger and meaner. So they weren't expecting this to happen this fast. I'm not sure that their prediction models are going to be applicable because nothing like these storms has ever been seen before. And the amount of water that's already standing all over Florida isn't going to help things. Now, real quick, as always, gratitude. Be thankful for what we have. I'd like to thank everyone who has stepped up and joined the Florida Maquis over at Patreon, whether it's the $1, $5, $10, or $15 level, making a huge, huge difference in my life. Believe me, it's being put to good use. And in the coming weeks, there's definitely going to be a need for sure. Especially those of you unit commanders, brigade commanders. At that level, I'm absolutely humbled that folks have stepped up and said, you know what, Maki, we support your goal of creating videos like we would have expected before the massive hand of censorship came down from the government and made everybody talk like they were in some... G-rated dystopian nightmare. Now, yesterday evening, last night, I put up a video for the $5 end up level. We have a $1 level. Hundreds and hundreds of videos never before seen on YouTube available at the $1 level over there covering all sorts of topics. There's a next level up called Need to Know and handful of videos for you guys. Put one up for, and of course, if you're at the $10 and $15 levels, you have access to you know, whatever your level is and below. So if you're at the $5 level, of course, you have access to all the $5 and $1 videos. If you're at the $10 level, you have access to 10, 5, and 1. And if you're at the $15 level, you have access to everything. Love to have you over there. Once again, no risk to you. Fully refundable. Do you have a week to decide? Two weeks to decide? No. You have 90 days to decide. You have until the 7th of January to decide whether you want to stick around, if it's worth it to you, or not. And if it's not, at any time in that 90 days, you can get a full refund. No questions asked. So God bless all of you. Once again, brand new video for those of you at the $5 level. Now, real quick, I know we're having a hurricane event level here in Florida, and there's lots to discuss, but Lindley Oz from Truth Hunters is going through a medical issue. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to get any more into it. But it puts things like hurricanes into perspective. It's uh, something that you really can't prepare for, unlike a hurricane. And she's gotten some test results that are disturbing. So I just would like everyone to stop, say a prayer, and support Lynn Liaz, Truth Hunters. She has been a staple on YouTube in the truth movement for well over 10, 12 years at least. And all sorts of videos, all sorts of topics, and a victim like no other of the censorship that has come down against people who talk of faith and people who talk about the Bible and get into biblical studies, and that's what her channel is all about. She has some really um, incredible um, takes on Bible study and going forward and using Strong's Concordance. It is really a blessing, 
I've been watching Lonely Isles for a long, long time. So keep her in your thoughts and prayers, please. That having been said, I'm not sure what more superlatives can be said. For those of you who watch my channel, you guys are some of the most intelligent folks out there, so I'm sure you probably know a lot more of the nuts and bolts details specifically of this storm than I probably do. I've been spending most of the day getting ready. Because, you know, when you're in the direct line of fire, you know, whether it's a Category 4, or Category 5, Category 3, storm surge 12 feet, storm surge 18 feet, it's just destruction. It's just massive amounts of destruction. And from my perspective and a lot of Floridians' perspective, it's going to be one of these things that, not that people are going to forget about it, but it's something that comes and goes. This one's going to stick around for a while. It's going to be up to, much like the people in up in Appalachia, it's really going to be up to us. As much as we talk to you guys about it here online and in social media, in the weeks and months after, it's it's going to be up to us because there's you know there's going to be some point in time after this storm comes and it goes and there's the destruction that life will go on, and other topics will um, take to the forefront and we'll still have things to do. So that's what we're preparing for now. One or two of the spaghetti models on this actually takes it right over my home. And even the governor said this is going to come a roar ashore. As they're saying it might go down from a 5 to a 4, but it's still going to be a full-blown hurricane as it exits out the Atlantic side. And there's going to be massive amounts of storm surge all up and down the Atlantic from the from Cape Canaveral all the way up to Amelia Island and, and, and parts of Georgia. And the crazy part about this, I wonder if I still have the picture up. Hold on. This is a hurricane evacuation zone right here of the area I live in, on 95, they are evacuating people west of I-95. Now, normal people, you know, A1A is usually the line. Yeah, A1A, the folks out on the beach, okay. And then, you know, get into the, then the intercoastal, okay, everybody, you know, on the east side of the intercoastal, you got to get away from the, the beach, and that's normal. And then 95 is a serious line. I-95 in this region, is, it's a quite a ways from the ocean. And they're even talking about evacuating people that are west of I-95. That's how serious this could be. So let me see where I left off here. Oh, as always, track the tropics, T-R-A-C-K-T-H-E-T-R-O-P-I-C-S, just like it sounds, trackthetropics.com. Every piece of information you might want to know, I talk about it a lot because it's a site that's basically a clearinghouse. A lot of the news sites, you know, you've got the ads and you've got all this. This is a donations only site. Um, definitely also a, a great place to go that if you've lost power and you don't have Wi-Fi and you're just basically on a cell signal, this is one of those websites that you can you can use on your phone that uh, renders pretty well because it's just bare bones. It's absolute bare bones, and you can get the information and um, stay up to date. Now, as far as advice goes, there's a lot of people that have a lot of advice for things to prep with. What a lot of people forget is sometimes the very easiest things. Set a few buckets out. It's been raining in Florida steady for the last few days. Set a few buckets out, clean them out, and, and, gather, the and gather that rainwater. Because, you know, as you know, it just takes, you know, a gallon or two to flush a toilet. Now, there's going to be issues with that as well, especially in areas like this, where if they don't have power to this, the lift stations, there's going to be a problem. They're, they're going to have a problem getting the message out to, to not flush toilets. But, you know, as far as sanitation goes, I'd rather flush and, oops, that's, you know, something I shouldn't have done than have there be a sanitation issue inside the home. Now, something a lot of people don't think about. There's a lot of homes in Florida that were built with pools in the back. Now, if you're a pool owner and you've been suffering through this just nonstop rain, 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 you think, well, gosh, that's that's a great thing for a pool owner. Not really, because you've got you have to have that pool at a certain level for the skimmer to work. And if it gets over full, you got to pump it out. You got to pump it out with what? Well, electricity. 
and that takes time. And plus that, you know, completely, you know, turns your nicely, you know, chemically balanced chlorinated pool for swimming in into basically a small bass pond. Um, there was a time when I, I had mentioned before, I have a little puddle of chlorine behind my house that I had uh, lost pump and I needed a part and had to wait some time for the part. And of course, with no pump and no circulation, it didn't take long for the wildlife to turn it into a pond. So the reason I bring this up is check your neighbors, check your neighbors and even people you don't know, go get buckets full of water. They'll be like, oh, great. That'd be because that saves them having to pump it out. That saves them having to, to pump the level back down. They have no problem with you coming, taking out 5, 10, 20, 50 gallons of water. You know, come get it. Come get it and, and take it and have it. And you're like, well, four monkey holes in the chlorinated and, and chemicals. Well, yeah, it's, it, but it beats nothing. It beats nothing. I mean, it's, it's not going to kill you. Let's put it that way. I mean, especially now here in Florida, very, very few people are going to have their, their pools because of all of the rain over the last few months are going to have their pools all nice and pretty perfect as far as high levels of chlorine and, and all that kind of stuff. They're, they're going to be, um, the water's going to be safe, you know, and it definitely, you know, boil it, you know, use it for bathing, use it, you know, for flushing toilets and it'll be an easy grab. It'd be an easy thing to do as long as you have though, you know, the ability to transport the water. So grab some buckets, grab some buckets. Um, Let's see what else. Oh, song by Vince Gill that I think is appropriate. Uh, the lyrics too. It's called "Threaten Me with Heaven." What's the worst thing that could happen if they say my time is through? Can they take away the love or the years I've shared with you? What's the worst thing that could happen? What's the worst they could do? Threaten me with heaven. That's all they can do. Threaten me with heaven if they want to. Threaten me with heaven. I believe that it's true. Threaten me with heaven. I'll be waiting on you. Here's a great acoustic version of it. Um, the AOL sessions from Vince Gill, where it's just basically him and a guitar and I think a little bit of a, a drummer in the back, maybe some a little bit of keyboards. Full-blown version um, is right here, a guitar slinger. It's absolutely spectacular album. Might want to check that out. Uh, but the lyrics to the song are perfect for a situation like this. Threaten me with heaven. That's all they can do. So, once again, prayers. Prayers for Lindley Oz. Um, it's not news, medical news, that I would ever wish on anyone. For any reason, no matter who they are. And what she's had to endure and what she's going through. I don't want to reveal a lot of personal details, but uh, she's had a steep climb the last few years. So prayers, please. I mean, we need them in Florida, but sometimes there are things that are way beyond storms that come and go. So I will leave it there. Also, to those of you who have joined us at Patreon, God bless every one of you. Thank you so, so much. I very, very much appreciate it. We'll do the very best I can endeavor to get power back up and get content rolling. But right now, there are already hundreds and hundreds of videos going all the way back to 2018. So if you sign up over there, believe me, you're going to have lots of stuff to go through to make up your mind. If you want to stick around and continue the support, those of you at the need to know level, $5 level, unit commanders, $10 level, brigade commanders, $15 level. You guys are absolutely the best. You've restored my faith in humanity. So let's meet up. Let's talk. Let's get things squared away. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.